Okay. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Hope everybody can uh, see me, hear me. Uh, welcome, welcome. Today is, uh, what day is it? Friday. Oh, I am glad it's Friday today. I've had a heavy week uh, at the gym and uh, exercising with the dog. So um, glad to have a couple of days off, which is nice. It is the 15th of March, Friday. And what a fantastic webinar we had on 360 yesterday. This is really what today is all about. I have got uh, one other, uh, two other bits actually for you. First off, uh, there's a new real video on O-Trim that's been released by On Passive today. Uh, why am I bringing up my, this one? Because obviously we see so many others as well. Uh, the reason I brought this is because it's a different kind of um, approach to advertising uh, O-Trim. It's uh, a voice behind the screen asking a person in front of a computer how to customize a trim, uh, a link using O-Trim, and the guy shows you, and it, it really is cool. So if you haven't seen it, Pop over to onpassive.com uh, on Facebook or on YouTube, and the reel is on there. I thought it was really good. Um, it's something I think you should have a look at. Uh, it just goes to show, doesn't it, that uh, on passive are continually thinking outside the box as far as uh, advertising is concerned. And I really, really like this one. I thought it was really cool. That's one update for you. And the other one is. If you haven't noticed, there's been 16 one six days added to O Tracker in your marketplace. So if you uh, go to marketplace and you look at O Tracker, it will say 16 days uh, have been added to it for you to use free. If you are one of the people uh, doing that, uh, fantastic. Okay, so let's talk then. Uh, about 360. Uh, let's talk about uh, what we saw, what we experienced. Uh, wouldn't mind hearing a bit of feedback in the chat from you guys as well. Obviously, um, we didn't see uh, CEO Ash Mufare yesterday. My hunch and my guess, I might be completely way off this, but I would not be surprised if he was not with his tech guys in the background monitoring the whole of 360. Why? Uh, because he wanted to, this is me saying this, by the way, I don't know this for true or it's not true, but I, I would not be surprised. Uh, he wanted to see uh, how we coped with it, how we used it, how we navigated around it and all the rest of it. And obviously to see how it functioned with a fair volume of people through it. We were over 5,000 for a very long period of time. Uh, the whole lot went on for over two hours and we were steady at between four and 5,000 the whole way through. Uh, really was great to see it so stable. Um, they must be so pleased with the outcome. Uh, they must be so pleased with how people have been able to be brought on. Um, I was doing a lot of that as well. Uh, if you if you are one of the people who is having webinars, talking of the functionalities of it, the easiest way to bring attendees in is when you clicked the uh, two figures at the bottom, that's third from the right as you're looking at the bottom of your uh, dashboard screen in front of you. Uh, there's two figurines. If you clicked on that, it brought up a separate panel to the left-hand side. It gave you the count of participants. It gave you uh, speakers, attendees. And if you wanted to bring attendees in, there's a search area. You can also search by country as well. You can select your flag. Uh, or the flag of the country, and you can search people by that as well. But if you wanted to search by a name, the easiest way of doing it is scroll to the bottom, and maybe the writing could be a bit clearer, but it says more. 
click on more there and expands right out into a large screen. You can then search a lot easier for the person you want. And there is three dots and by that person's name. You clicked on that and it would say make speaker. OK, it's one of the options on there. Very easy to bring people on and also very easy to take people off as well. Uh, so I really like that feature. Uh, that was great to see. And like I said, I would not be surprised if uh, CEO, along with the tech guys behind the scenes, were watching what we were doing, how we were finding stuff out by ourselves and all the rest of it. Um, one thing I haven't checked, and I am going to check it right now just to make sure I, it was on my lists of things to check. And uh, let me just have a little look for you just to make sure I give you the right information. Uh, wait one moment. And uh, I'm actually just looking, guys. Yeah, it has been. OK, that is fantastic news. Um, the manual for the new O Connect, by the way, is already posted in your ecosystem. So if you are one of the people who hasn't got a clue how to operate O Connect and all the rest of it, the easiest one way to do it is a log into your ecosystem. Look to the top right hand corner of that page. You'll see your name and next to your name is a drop down arrow. It's a little arrow pointing downwards. Click on that. That expands out. Scroll down and you'll see user manuals. OK, click on that and then you can scroll along to O Connect and then you can download it and uh, have a look at it yourself. There is, I can tell you right now, 170 pages, guys. Uh, let me just write that down now uh, for another, for the update. Uh, oh, connect. So uh, go and have a look at that, guys. OK, uh, that will explain absolutely all of the new features, how to use them and what you can do with them. But let's just talk about some of the features right now that I noticed, which I thought were amazing. First off, out the bag that we are going to use a whole ton of uh, file sharing. What a brilliant thing to have as far as video conferencing is concerned. Now, I know this for a fact. In fact, uh, I'm meeting with the, the person I'm talking about uh, tomorrow. We're staying at his house. He is a director of a very large company in the UK called Forest Fencing. To cut a long story short, they basically supply uh, all fencing panels, round timber, sheds, trellis, all that sort of stuff to all of the hardware stalls uh, in the UK. Big, big business. Uh, but they have um, businesses all over Europe. For instance, they have uh, sawmills over in Scandinavia and um, other mills in north of France and Spain and also Eastern Bloc countries as well, Poland specifically, uh, that they get a lot of their wood for. And obviously, they have used uh, video conferencing at the moment. And I know which one it is. It doesn't really matter, but it's not O-Connect yet. It will be very shortly, especially when I show him this new version. But I do know that one of the things uh, that they, they do between them, they have very regular online meetings between all the directors and uh, managers, etc., and one of them is sharing a lot of files of documentation and presentations, all these types of things. They have to do it all at the moment via Dropbox because they can't interact and share uh, when they are on the screen. So give you the scenario is that people do presentations for maybe new machinery, uh, new products, whatever it may be. And there's a group of people all on one video. And uh, they have to then do the presentation, 
talk about it and then wait for an email or a link to Dropbox so that they can download what they've been talking about on the video conference. With OConnect, guess what, guys? Boom. There it is. Press here. There it is on the screen. You can share it with one person. You can share it with all people that are participants there and they will get it absolutely instantly as you are talking about it right in front of you. Now, obviously, uh, again, we saw yesterday that certain files weren't accepted within uh, the system at the moment. We just started. OK, so don't worry that will get expanded out and all the rest of it and the amount of data you'll be able to share will get larger and all the rest of it. But I, I thought yesterday for the first outing with a considerable amount of, of people really was a great, great success. Talking of uh, stats, I have got some stats for you that uh, our CEO Ashma Farah shared with us uh, yesterday or very early this morning, actually, it was. And uh, I can tell you now that uh, over 5,000 O-Connects were scheduled yesterday and uh, just about 5,000 meetings were held yesterday on O-Connect with a total participants of just over 40,000 people were on uh, O-Connect yesterday in one way, shape or form. We know that we were holding steady between four and 5,000, but for the first day, for the first release to have 5,000 in round figures, 5,000 webinars uh, that people use the new system for and to have uh, just over 40,000 particip participants uh, on those webinars uh, really was amazing. And congratulations to everybody who is involved. That is uh, the O Connect department and all of the tech guys, our CEO. We can't thank you guys enough for what you have done here. If this is what is going to be coming as far as the other products and services of on passive, then absolutely going to blow everything else out of the water isn't it you know i mean just as it is at the moment without any new features without uh doing anything to o connect at the moment we can take this and we can have a business in a box just with this one product it doesn't get any better than that and we've got loads more products that are coming so talk about people coming to us when news of this video conferencing gets uh, platform gets out there, they start using it, which they will do for free to begin with and all the rest of it. They are going to be hooked. I can tell you that because I was yesterday. Uh, we all were. We, we just I mean, to be fair, two and a half hours flew by, you know, yesterday <laughs> because we were looking around and all the rest of it. And don't forget, we've seen O Connect. We know how O Connect works. So just imagine what it's like for a complete newbie who has never seen O Connect before. They're going to be blown away. I can assure you of that. Other features then uh, we saw, which I or I noticed, which uh, I really did like. Uh, first one was, did you notice that the Remember on the old version, when someone spoke, you had this blue uh, ticker tape type of thing, uh, which was blue and then um, purple going round your square on there to indicate that you were the one um, speaking. Now, it's amazing, isn't it, that uh, feedback from us, the users, really does filter through. If you remember, there was quite a few people who were saying, uh, did it actually distract people from listening or seeing what is going on because they got this thing going round and round and round in front of them? Uh, the company have heard that and listened to it. And now what have they done? They put a little green, uh, like almost like a volumey type um, uh, bit at the bottom left. Also, what I've loved about what they've changed 
is that your name now is to the side of your picture and along with the, your nationality flag is to the other side. So it splits the screen, which means that you have now a full view of the person straight in front of you. And if you also notice the ticker where all of that is held is see-through, okay? It's shaded, it doesn't blank out the bottom. You can actually see through it. Uh, I really did uh, like it. Um, it shows with the green mic, it shows exactly who is speaking and you could see it flicking around the screen. It's very easy to follow and notice who the person is uh, speaking. Within instance, you get the you get the hang of that. You think, oh, yeah, that's the one who's speaking and you can see around very easily. And, and actually, as it moves, it grabs your eye and you, you can see around. I love that feature. Uh, I love the way they split the screen. I love the see through um, uh, tab bar at the bottom as well, which gives you a much more um, notable feel of, of a whole screen rather than just uh, blacked out at the bottom as it was before, making that screen a little bit smaller. So that was really cool. Obviously, uh, the speaker and attendees, uh, all of those parts to it as well. The chat was running very smoothly. Also, the, uh, the ticket for the numbers didn't drop a beat, didn't freeze, all of these sort of things there. It was super, super easy. Also, what I noticed as well is quality of uh, people's video. And it was almost like the more people that got on and the more it warmed up, the better the visuals became. I noticed uh, on my video, it was like I was, it was right in front of me here. And I'm actually the same distance now on this as I was yesterday. Uh, and the colors were quite correct and all the rest of it. Uh, but the longer it went on, I thought that the uh, quality of the pictures got better and better. Did you see the quality of Marcian who was on uh, her mo mobile phone? Amazing for, an, a, mo for a mobile phone. I, I thought it was fantastic. And if that is going to be the norm for everybody, it's just really is wow factor, isn't it? You know, and people are going to notice this because when you get on other uh, video conferencing platforms, the quality is not there, is it? The quality is not as good. Plus, on top of all of that, guys, if you looked to the top right hand corner, it was on the old system as well. You've got the hexagonal wheel, uh, where, which is the settings. You can actually go into that as well and change your video and audio settings to maximize your computer for that system. And as Marty said yesterday, and I'm going to say today as well, is that once this is all stabilized and more people are using it and we start to expand out and stabilize once again and move forward, we know that there are physical products coming for OConnect to enhance the user's experience, i.e. microphones and cameras to give OConnect a real, real experience. It's going to be like watching 4D or 3D in the cinema with the glasses. It's going to be absolutely amazing. It certainly is. So I thought uh, I would Rather than summarizing all of the rest of it, oh, one other thing as well is that Daryl Cook has done a very short update in your O Founders backup office under updates. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for all you do. Uh, it really does help us. Um, I do believe, not don't hold me to it, but I am pretty sure that we will be having a meeting with our CEO very shortly. Uh, he will want to hear our feedback of what we thought and all the rest of it. Uh, but also, if you didn't get chance to see yesterday's um, OES update pop up, please make sure that you scroll all the way down to the bottom of it, okay? Because on that, it said uh, more updates and news coming your way very shortly. Uh, it really is start your engines time, in my opinion. I think. Uh, now that we've got this one in the bag, 
I really do believe they would not have let us had our hands on this if other stepping stones were not in place. That's for sure. I, it, otherwise, there wouldn't be any rhyme or reason to do it. They could have hold off uh, a little bit longer on all the rest of it. But I'm sure allowing us to have it for free to use and all the rest of it is certainly part of the plan that they have in mind. And I would not be surprised if other things start falling into place uh, in very quick succession. When it will be, I don't know. But certainly get ready. Make sure that you are logging into your ecosystem to get all of those updates. Um, but it traveled like wildfire fire yesterday anyway, didn't it, uh, from the pop up? And then I was so pleased that uh, 360 went so well on our new O-Connect. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it from me for today. If you haven't experienced yourself O-Connect, just set up a meeting on your own and go and have a play with it. You will love it. Press any button. You're not going to break it. OK, it's there to be used. It's there to be experienced. Or what you could do is make your own webinar, download the user manual, OK, and just run through that user manual. And then you can find out all of those functions that you need to know about hosting a webinar. OK, uh, no live from me tomorrow because we're with friends, uh, my friends, as I just said, and also uh, Sunday as well. But I'll be back around on Monday with Jane for Monday fun day okay uh, and then hopefully I'll have some more updates for you but for now let's go to the chat say a few hellos we'll start off with uh, the people in green they're the tea clubbers giving me my monthly uh, support thank you guys oh uh, Fatima uh, you are there and Abdi Alasso hi to you and Kaylee and Barry Dang Michael Champagne Jerry Nix Listra T Greg Greisner Susan uh, you are there. Uh, I think that was Colonel Daniel Lee went past with a super sticker. Thank you so much. Uh, Susan Bott, that was. And uh, who else have we got? Sorry. Gina Lever, you are there. Stuart Molyneux and Curtis Strickland. We've also got RW44 on passive. Hi to you. Uh, Jarmo and Santino Zemanek. Hi to you guys. You guys, everyone I've mentioned so far are tea clubbers. A uh, lovely Listra T is there. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, we'll move over then. We've got Clover Kelly, Cynthia Deering, Sean and Sh Shalkeen, I think that is. Uh, Krista Gray's is tea club in it. Uh, Cena is there as well. Stephanie, hi to you. Martin Pierre, Dominic Henderson, Godwin Berenna, I think. Robert McGahey, John Berea and Ilias. We've also got uh, Ruth Pace. And Domin Lecture, uh, Juan Dean Gaskin, I think that is. Lynn Nakamoto, you are there. Hi to you. Uh, Mad Hatter's probably about as well. Madin, Vivine Benny, Sherry Durswer, hi to you. Uh, Dorinda as well. Uh, Joe Sordo, Robert Rehas, and uh, Laurie Lunn, hi to you guys. Peter Rogers is there. Torin Yar, Ruth Pace. James Hawkins, Myra Aquina, hello to you, Myra. Uh, we've got uh, Adofi Alpan, I think that is, maybe. Uh, Yogish and Sandra Vincent, Vulcan, Cynthia Deering, and um, mention that. Uh, David Clark and Ruth Pace, a couple more, Taryn Yar, Doma Lecher, uh, and Bolly Who, hello to you again, Raj Dash, and the last one will go to Paul Gottlob. There you go. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, see you all Monday. Have a great weekend, whatever you do. That's it for me. I am out of here. Bye for now.